All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? <clears throat> we are going in with some Vindreds. Now, I don't know which deck that I did play. I'm going to be playing on Tuesday, so, uh, well, oh my god. The end of my turn. This is, this, god, man, this is so unfair. This is so unfair. It's not even funny how unfair this hand is because we literally can't do anything. And the reason why we can't do anything is because we drew two ritual spells and for some reason this is why I, like I, I, I just I, this is why I can't this is why I, I, I'm so hesitant about playing Vendreds <clears throat> let me try to get that out of my throat but this is why I'm so hesitant about playing Vendreds is because this happens every time I play it if you draw one of these ritual spells it really messes up the deck but yeah I don't know which Vendred I would I'll be playing on Tuesday because uh, well, if everything goes right, then you guys would be seeing just like a little play session, like an hour, probably like 40 minutes or something of just Vindred duels. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make it an hour, but you know how that goes. But yeah, so I'm going to try to make it an hour. Hopefully, um, you guys do get to see that. But um, besides that, it looks like we're just going to be taking this loss right here because we have no way to, you know, beat people like this. Um, and then you can't beat these terrible hands. Do not understand why he wasted all three spot frogs, but I'm guessing this is just, it's not even, I don't even think it's frogs. I think it's just, um, it may be mermails just with a frog engine because usually you'll dump a dupe or something like that. <clears throat> Unless you just want to get it out of a toad, but still doesn't make any sense. All right. So there's that. Yeah, we're going to just uh, surrender here. We're not, we're not going to play with that. Be right back. All right, so we're back. Hopefully, we don't draw as bad as we just did because that was just awful. <clears throat> and we're going to be able to go first. Um, and oh, now this hand is um, very good. Let's start off with the pre prep because we want this to get ashed, and he doesn't have it. But um, all right, that's fine. We have everything we really need to set up. Um, and we can do some spicy stuff here. So what we can do is we can activate Solitaire. Uh, we can get the Unizombie, right? <clears throat> now we, we can do a different play. What we can do is we could, uh, we could either ditch this from the hand or we can ditch, um, or we can send the two star and then we could ritual some of the two star and then go into, and then get a Slayer and have the Slayer also equipped with what's the name or we can go the Smith route or we can just literally go both both ways um, because now what we can do here is do this <clears throat> uh, and then we can just banish these two from the grave we can special some of that right there and so yeah we're just gonna oops gonna, just in case he has some random stuff uh, we're gonna do that <clears throat> and then we can also use Unizombie right here. Now we can either, we're going to target Slayer. Now we can send pretty much whatever we want to send. We could dump, <clears throat> excuse me, we can dump the, uh, we can dump Mizuki. Um, we can also dump uh, Hound Horde. We can also dump, um, you know, any one of those. Because what we can do is we can go Sun Saga and we can also go Omega. But what would be the better choice? That's the whole thing. <clears throat> well, you know what? I think let's no, we don't even need to send down or to be honest with you. We just send Mizuki here. Uh, yeah, we can we can roll with that. I believe we can roll with that. Um, yeah, well, let's send Mizuki. And so now what we can do uh, is we can go into an Omega with these two. And then also uh, with this Omega, we can banish it's for free. We can just banish one of his cards, which is a fusion substitute. And here we can search the Samurai, uh, the Samurai Samsara, because now we can do this to get back the Unizombie. Uh, and if we can get a zombie link, that would be very, very, very good for us. <clears throat> but like I said, the Christian Halo Fiber is just too good in this deck. But since we don't, we're not playing that, we're going to be playing a TCG this is what's going to be going down so now we're going to dump the hound horde and then the hound horde 
it's going to be able to ditch the Slayer, which is going to bring the Hound Horde back, and then we could just, you know, ritual summon with those individuals. Now, <clears throat> what would we want to do though? We can, oh wait, that was the wrong one. We should have picked the one we didn't summon already, so we're definitely going to get rid of that. But, is, do we get rid of Unizombie or do we get rid of Smith? Because, you know, we have multiple options to do with either of those. So, I think, gonna get rid of Smith? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of Smith because if we can draw a zombie or something, we're just gonna be, no need to activate that twice. Um, you know what? I messed up. I definitely should have got rid of Unizombie <laughs> because this can't protect anything. Yeah, so that's... That was the bad part about that. I definitely did 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 a bit yeah <clears throat> did a bit of whoopsie daisy. But what's cool is that we can basically bring this card back out. Um, sure, magical mallet is completely fine. So what can happen is that uh, let's say he does something silly or tries to burn me to death, I can Samsara the Sun Saga banish it right, and then what if I Icarus attack? I could banish uh, what's the name Solitaire and then bring back Smith and also bring back um, Sun Saga and oh well see that there you go this is yeah we're gonna activate that Omega put that on right there and that's that's 52 and 35 so let's go ahead and try to push for a game so that's pretty much a setup we can do so drawing Smith is not that bad as long as you have, like if you have Sage if you have Solitaire and like any Shiri new card you can do a bunch of I mean. We also need uh, origin and stuff, but you know, you can do a bunch of different things. And that was a pretty good setup board, I believe. All right, be right back. And also another thing is Hound Horde was on the Slayer. So, you know, there's no way you're going paper and you went paper, um, but that Hound Horde was set on Slayer. So not only did we have the, oh, okay, well, once again, we can do the same. No, we can't because we didn't draw it. Well, there's the problem. Oh wait, never mind. We can just do the other play, which is uh, the Gozuki play, because we do play that card, and we get Ash Blossom. Isn't that fun? It's okay. It's okay. Not gonna complain. Should have, but not going to. It's okay. We're we're fine. We we can roll with that. Um, there's a Shadow Mist. That's completely fine. Also. Because, like, Dark Law doesn't do nothing to this deck. It actually improves what I'm doing. So, go ahead and Dark Law me. You know, that's that's completely fine. If you don't have a Dark Law, then I'm going to use, uh, just going to send a Mizuki. If you do have a Dark Law, I'm just send Spirit Master. And then, once again, go from there. And everything will be fine. So, that's, that's a boost with, uh, <clears throat> Shuri Newt. Jesus Christ, man. So, ooh, pre-prep. Now we're not gonna do pre prep first. We're gonna normal summon first. And I know what you guys are thinking. That's pretty. That's a really a bad play. Well, the reason why we want to do this is because just in case this man has it and he does not have it. Okay. So what that means is that I can send the Gozuki, or I could send the two star or Mizuki. I already have a Mizuki in my hand, so I could send the two star to theoretic theoretically. Um. Hmm. I want to see how I want to do this one though. Cause he's, he's, I think he's trying to bait me. I don't know if he is or not. Um, let's send Mizuki for right now. Um, and then let's use you. Let's target the mist. Well, let's see what happens. Was well, he trying to bait me? No, he doesn't look like he was trying to bait me at all. It looks like he just legitimately did not have anything. So we're going to get this Smith out. And we're going to try to go into a what's the name. Um, could go Omega, which is exactly what we're going to do. Not could, but we are. Are going to go Omega. We're going to activate that to add, are you going into a Dark Law now? If he's waiting for that Dark Law, he, he's amazing. Okay. Well, he's not okay so this being said since we haven't used what's the name we can definitely just grab the sentences which is just fun um so <laughs> let's pre-prep and let's see now we're now we're going to black rose his board because now he please playing too much he's playing entirely too much um let's activate oh he had that okay now we can just do this 
and we can special summon the Yuna Zombie. Or do you have something? Well, this, like I said, this is completely fine. Also, if you have something, because uh, let's target Yuna Zombie. Let's see, does he have like a Cyclone or something? No, he doesn't look like he has it. Okay, well he's either he's just he's just playing really good or he's just doing dumb stuff. Um, you know what? I feel like he's doing dumb stuff, so we're gonna play dumb. We're gonna we're gonna play real dumb. Uh, let's do this because he's he's playing real dumb. So now we can just we can just start cycling through the deck. This is why what's the name is really good. Cor Coral Dragon would be a good card in this situation. But we're gonna go Crystal Wing. But we're gonna try to we're gonna try to bait some good cards out. Ooh, that's a Fendred Revenant, but we've already normal summoned. So let's do that. And let's see what he has there. Doesn't have anything. So let's get the two and the solitaire. Bring this young man out. Excuse me. Special summon the spectral sword. Oh damn it! I think he has a. Uh, he might have like one of the one of the what's the names down there I got a, a solemn solemn judgment type card um crystal wing seems amazing but we can also deco talker that's what we can do but then that doesn't really solve a lot of our problems it kind of does actually I ri you know what I know it's a mirror force down there so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna try to play this extra cool. I'm going crystal wing in defense mode. Is it a good play? Absolutely not. But I feel like he has it down there. I just really do. I feel like he does. There's nothing y'all can do to tell me anything different. There's nothing y'all can do to tell me anything different. Um, he actually didn't have it. That's that's kind of crazy. Uh, let me see what's in here. I actually do want to do that. Huh? No, I don't. What am I thinking about? Um, he's gonna activate this and then you know I'm gonna negate so if you have a strike it's a very strange I was about to say yeah that was very strange to go ahead and keep that strike so I, I think he does have a mirror force I just think he doesn't want he didn't want to flip it at that point in time because you know why waste it on the slayer that I can get back easily he's trying to get this crystal wing also yeah, that, that's getting immediately negated I'm not I'm not even this is not even a joke like <laughs> that's getting immediately negated it's like a better shadow technically um, yeah, that, yeah. This I, I, no, it's not really a battle shadows, but it can get okay. There's the there it is. Okay, there it goes. There's okay. There's the call of the hunted. So, I mean, once again, this is fine because he can't he can't really do anything. Like, okay, you can get an Anki, but what does Anki do? You can run over my crystal wing, but then again, you can't you can't run over like Slayer. Uh, and I think this is where he like he uses the Slayer. And then with this synthesis straight up, I mean staying up, pretty much what I can do is I keep recursion a lot of stuff. Oh wait, what? What's going on here? What is he attacking? I know he's not just gonna. I I, I don't know what he's thinking. Do you have the Honesty Neos in your hand? Wow, you drew it for turn. You're an amazing individual. There's no way you didn't have that last turn. I mean, technically he could have. He had two in his hand. That's nasty. Um, but yeah, this doesn't like this doesn't do anything. This play doesn't stop anything because Dark Law is not strong enough to get over this Anki. I can let Anki kill it. That's entirely up to me to be honest with you. Um, do I want to let Anki kill it? I don't think so. I don't think I want him to let. I don't even think I want to let him kill it. Now he could be super, super cool. Go Dark Law. And, okay, there's an Anki. I don't know if I want him to. What's the name though? Hmm. I can. But then, actually, I can get over it regardless. Do I want to? That's a. That's a thing. Um, I'm just kind of scared though. Uh, do I want? No, I'm not gonna let him do it. There's no reason to. 
Might as well just play around them. It's the best thing I can do. I know that's something back there. I know it's a Mirror Force card. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my damn bones. Uh, so we have to get over this, which is going to be... Okay, well, there, never mind. It's not really a problem. Um, so what we can do here is we could... Uh, hmm, we don't want a Spectral Sword. Okay, so... What we can do? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, we can do a bunch with this. This is this is awful for him. That better be. If that's not another mask, what's the name? He's in a bit of trouble. Now we could link all these three away. Um. Hmm. Do I want to link all three away or just two? Hmm. That's pretty. He can. He can do this any time, right? So let's see here. I can go Deco Talker. I don't think, yeah, I'm gonna go Deco Talker. Cause I don't believe I'm going to be able to, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, um, what do you call it? I don't think that, um, I don't even know how to, I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna need what's the name. So I can Mizuki for the Unizombie, right? Or I can be extra special, which I'm about to be. Let me just bring back the Revenants. Uh, and then we could, uh, a Mizuki for the Revenants. Since that's a cost, it doesn't matter if he does chain. Uh, what's the name? We're going to just get, we're getting over his whole board here. Um, let's go right here. And then what we can do is this for the Revenants. And so now we're just in the game. Just in the game. Now, if this is a what's the name, I'm going to start, I'm going to cry so hard. If this is an Imperial Order that he was just waiting this whole time for, it's, it's, it's the tears are finna start flowing because I'm finna lose. And ain't nothing I can do about it. And it's not. So, that's good. Alright, so we can go, we can put the Slayer right here because we're going for game. Um, and then we're going to activate to banish a Spell and Trap, which is this. And let's see if this is the Mirror Force. Is it the Mirror Force? I feel like it is. I feel like it's a Mirror Force. I don't know what else it could be. Could be another call of hunted, but my money is on Mirror Force. My money is on Mirror Force, and I know we're taking a bunch of time right now. Okay, well there's, a, there's another call of hunted. Okay, but that has to go in defense. So once again, this is uh, it's not looking too good for him. We're definitely going to be putting the origin back though. Um. Yeah, we might as well just banish this. No reason not to. Um, so yeah, we're going to definitely be putting uh, an origin back. This doesn't miss timing, um, but this game is pretty much over. He can send a mist all he wants. It doesn't do. Wait, does that equate defense also? Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, so like I said, it doesn't really do anything. And then we can just go into the one card known as. I'm going to add a Vion, which is fine. Um, we can just do this. We can banish the Smith. You can banish Smith. We can go, uh, what's the name right here? So, uh, no, no need to use that effect. And then, like I said, we can just do this and put the Origin back because we do want to keep getting effects. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Attack into this. Uh, we need a burial. We need a burial. Something vicious. Um, what is that? That's only 58. So he's down to 400. No, we don't want to chain. Did I say 400? No, he's he's down to 800. Um, but I feel like I feel good. I feel good. Um, actually, I kind of don't because now my slayer is vulnerable. Um, yeah, it's very vulnerable, but it can't be destroyed by card effects. He can't special summon, so he can't set cards. So I guess the only thing he can really do is uh, yeah, is just keep sending shadow misses and searching the hero honest neos. But that's gonna get old real quick. Um, sure, go ahead and use your effect. And if he goes polymerization. He just gets hit with the young uh, Slayer effect, and if he doesn't go polymerization, then you're you're, you're just good. Um. Oh, okay. 
So let's see what he's gonna do now. Um, I'm tempted to actually banish the the Mali if he uses it. Um, I know he has Honesty Neos in his hand, and he sent him Mali. So I'm tempted on using Slayer. Very tempted to use Slayer on the Mali, but I kinda. No, because then if I use Slayer on Mali, he's going to go, and this will be a 3200 uh, Western hand. He's going to be able to attack over this, so I don't think I should. All right, there's the... Oh, that's the hero link. Okay, I don't know why it didn't, <clears throat> it didn't put it in there. I just downloaded the latest card base. I do not know why I didn't put it in there, but I guess. Um, that's the hero link. And yeah, let's go ahead and banish this do you have a fucking mass change that you have also come on man you're not that good you're not that good okay thank god i was about to say bro you're, you're just way too fucking good for me way too good um that definitely was uh, not should have that definitely shouldn't have just happened right now because i could have easily got over the link and the uh wasn't because he would have set mass change and i would have got banished then again, he could have got a fusion. I believe it's only from the graveyard. I don't know. I literally downloaded the... You had it. You had it anyways. Okay, well, let's just banish the mass change. Because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to attack over anything. Okay, so he's going to have a dark log. Now, unless you just have double honesty Neos, you're just a man. Because um, you have to use it on every monster I have on my board. Regeki doesn't do anything because uh, <clears throat> Skull protects the zombies, but it doesn't protect Decode Talker, so... Alright, there we go. Be right back with the deck of that. Alright, that was very anticlimactic, but that, that's it. This is the same... I don't know why it just did that. Why is the zombie just spread out? Anyways, yeah, that's... Oh, it just did it all over the place. Anyways, you guys already know what the cards is because I did play this on uh, Thursday. No, th yeah, it was Thursday. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Sorry for the long video. Or, you know, it I mean, you're welcome for the long video. It's up to you guys if you watched it this long. Hopefully you did. But yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click and add. That'll be enough for me. And thank you. See you guys in a couple more hours with the second duel.